Hello, and welcome to the sixth episode of my ongoing series, Roblox Mid Profiles. In this series, I talk about many different Roblox myths that don't have enough information to make it onto Roblox Myths Explained. A lot of the myths featured in the series are usually chosen by me, but will occasionally feature myths suggested by my viewers. Special thanks, as usual, to the Myth Community Wiki for providing all of the information used in this video. As always, make sure to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel so that I know you like these videos. So, without further ado, let's get into it. The first myth that I'll be talking about is a Roblox user that goes by the name of Pilgrimist. Pilgrimist is a Roblox myth that is best known for having an autumn themed story as proven by their main game, October. I'm just going to say that there's not too much information on this Roblox myth, so who knows how long this section will be. Anyway, Pilgrimist's avatar currently consists of the gold belt captain hat, as well as a concerned face and a grey and black skin tone. I definitely get Pilgrim vibes from his outfit, I wonder why. And he seems to pull it off pretty well. Pilgrimist's story dates all the way back to August 4, 2020, so less than 4 months ago as of recording this. He soon made his signature game, October, on the same day and last updated on November 3rd, 2020, so very recently. One thing to note is that the description on Pilgrimist's profile contains a poem, which I'll be reading. The poem goes as follows, Ye old dark and weary, a night so dreary, but October shall fall into a morning hall. The lights will glisten as the children listen. For the farmers harvesting, pumpkins are popping, bunnies are hopping, the beautiful raven flies with the sky, way up high, the scarecrow smiles in glee, as do we. Yet the greed creeps, and the karma weeps, I come upon the mortal hearing, for the time of your greed end is nearing. At the time of writing this, Pilgrimist is the owner of a group named October, the same as his signature game. It only has five members, Stacked Hay, Raging Skeleton, Stack of Pumpkins, Sojournerist, and Pilgrimist. If one compares their appearances, they can see that Sojournerist and Pilgrimist have pretty similar avatars aside from skin tone and face. Regarding Pilgrimist's personality, he was known to be passive-aggressive since he yelled at players for joining October before said month, but something odd is that he didn't use caps when doing so. One thing that I'm wondering is what will happen if you play the game after October. That's something that I'll be finding out in my free time. There's not too much else to say regarding Pilgrimist. The next myth that I'll be talking about is a Roblox user that goes by the name of Oldwell. One thing I realized is that I actually explored this myth but didn't realize it then. Anyways, Oldwell is a Roblox myth that is best known for their game, The Well. Oldwell's avatar doesn't have any clothes but this doesn't mean they're naked. Instead, Oldwell has colored body parts which is common amongst older Roblox myths. Oldwell's torso is yellow as well as having light blue legs and their arms and head being white. Somewhat surprisingly, Oldwell's inventory seems to be empty. Oldwell's story dates all the way back to October 16th, 2017, so over 3 years ago as of recording this, and created well on the same day. The game was last updated on October 19th, 2017, 3 days after Oldwell joined the platform. Since then, nothing has happened regarding the game, but Oldwell remains somewhat active. They were last online between 2 and 3 years ago as of uploading this. Obviously, Old Well has one game, which is The Well. I talked about its history earlier in the video, so I won't explain it again. I've played this game before, so I'll be sharing what can be found in game. Since I'm lazy, I'll be reading from the Mid Community Wiki. According to the Mid Community Wiki, upon spawning, you'll see a small settlement with trees, two houses, a wharf, and a well. Both houses appear empty, but one has an armchair sitting outside. There is also a wharf which leads out to sea, and you, if you jump off the war, wharf, you'll be able to walk around, which is unlike most other games where you will fall through and die. There is also a well in the game which sits in front of the house, and you spawn on top of the well which features a bucket and pulley string. There is also some soft music playing in the background. There really isn't anything known about Oldwell's behavior, since it's unknown if he has joined any games, so nothing can be said about it. There are two pieces of trivia, but they're short, so I'll just say them right now. The first piece of trivia is that both Oldwell's name and game refers to a well, well in said game. The second and final piece of trivia is that there is a real place named Oldwell, but it is unknown if it has any relation with Oldwell's myth. 
When I was researching this myth, I realized that I actually explored this myth before, and by explored, I mean played our game. It was weird, and now I'm giving a myth exposure, which is good. There's not much else to say regarding Old Well, other than that I think he should come back and tell us more about his myth. The third myth that I'll be talking about is a Roblox user that goes by the name of The Unsheltered Fable. The Unsheltered Fable is a Roblox myth that is known for their games having a Japanese theme and language. I personally find that kind of interesting. The Unsheltered Fable's avatar currently consists of a white skin tone with a poet's cap and many coat with stripes, along with cinnamon hair and a pair of pants titled Toy. The Unsheltered Fable also equips the stylish idol animation pack and the default Roblox face. Not gonna lie, I really like her outfit since it looks cute and it's pretty simple. The Unsheltered Fable's story dates all the way back to August 9th, 2018, so over two years ago as of recording this, she soon created four different games within the course of several months, but I'm going to talk about those later. The Unsheltered Fable is the owner of two different Roblox groups, Mom's House, not Yo Mama's House, and a group whose name translates to Left Behind. The second group is the more popular group, with 65 members as of writing this. Its description also reads, Gone. What that could mean is up for debate. The description for Mom's House reads, Read a book. You're okay. Are you going to throw up? You have to go to school. You've missed too many days. How do you feel when you're nauseous? Just breathe. Both groups have links to Discord servers, which you should join. I don't know why, but I just feel like talking about her groups. The Unsheltered Fable has four games at the time of writing this. I'm going to be saying the English translations of the titles since they're obviously in Japanese. So, the four games are Description, her residence, almost, and I will say hello soon. The most popular of the four is Description, with over two and a half thousand visits as of uploading this. Unrelated, but the title of Description can also translate to explanation in English. One notable thing about the Unsheltered Fable is that the person behind the account isn't the original owner. The About section states that, quote, I am not the original owner. All credit for the Hatsukori myth goes to her, therefore confirming that the, that the account has a different owner as of uploading this. There is only one piece of trivia, and it's that the owners of the Hatsukori and the Unsheltered Fable myths are different people, which means that they're not the same person, obviously. There's not much else to say regarding the Unsheltered Fable. The fourth and final myth that I'll be talking about is a Roblox user that goes by the name of the Chairman of Cogs. If this name sounds familiar, this is because Flamingo has made a video on his myth, so make sure to go watch that if you haven't already. Anyway, the Chairman of Cogs is a Roblox myth that has been investigated by groups such as Mythsmen and RMH. He is also the owner of The Tower of Cogs, a Roblox group with over 2,900 members as of uploading this. The Chairman of Cogs' story dates all the way back to March 28, 2019, so over a year ago as of recording this, he soon created his signature game, The Chairman Tower of Cogs, on the same day. As one may have learned, Flamingo later made a video on the Chairman of Cogs, which boosted his popularity and made the Tower of Cogs mid gain traction amongst the community. As one can see, the Tower of Cogs group is a group that is owned by the Chairman of Cogs and is a part of the Cogs myth. It is based on the Cogs in Disney's Toontown, yet is darker and mainly a business group. The group has also has a Discord server, which you should join if you haven't already. Regarding the Chairman of Cogs' appearance, his avatar currently consists of a dark gray skin tone along with the Chairman shirt and pants and a Roblox face with this title. There is only one piece of trivia, and it's that the myth's characters are based on the former Disney game Toontown Online. Other than the inspiration, there is no relation between the two games. If any of you remember the disastrous Roblox Myth Awards that I attended, both I and Gaby Gaming saw the Chairman of Cogs there, which meant that the awards was a pretty big deal for the community. The end result, however, was a different story. I honestly don't really have anything else to say about the Chairman of Cogs. I don't usually know what to say for the end credits since it's where you can say anything that you want, let that be announcements or relevant topics or just things you want to get off your chest. I also know that not everyone sticks around for this part of the video, but a few people do. If you're one of those people right now, hello. Also, it's November. This means that my birthday is coming up. If you didn't know, my birthday is on November 27th. I'll obviously be celebrating that day, but I'm not too sure as to what I'll be doing regarding the channel. I might do either a birthday stream or a birthday video since I want to do stuff with y'all that day. It's more likely that I'll do a birthday stream since it allows me to talk with y'all in real time. When I fully know what I want to do that day, I'll make sure to announce it on the community tab as well as my social media. 
I also want to talk about Grocery Gang retiring for a bit. It's pretty sad to see an OG Roblox Mint, if you can call him an OG Mint, retire from the community. That means that we won't get more videos from Albert, Stalzy, and any other Roblox YouTubers. Well, we can enjoy any previous videos made on Grocery Gang. I actually have somewhat of a funny story, which is that the real 74J followed me on Twitter a while ago, and I asked him why he did so. He responded with, be quote, because you deserve it. That was a nice few weeks, being followed by the 74 j Now, Grocery Gang is gone, and we won't hear from them anymore. If you found this video enjoyable or informative, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that I know you like these videos. I want to reach 1,500 subscribers by the end of 2020, so it'd be great if we could reach that. As always, goodbye guys, and I'll see you in the next video.